Your guide, Colonel Mini here. This aircrew is abandoning what appears to be a perfectly serviceable aircraft. This is because the aircraft has exceeded its VNE or never exceed speed. But VNE is just one of several V speeds that we should learn about for each aircraft. Today I'll cover a few of the V speeds that are important to us in the game. And I'll include a link in the description for more information. The airframe is designed to withstand certain G-force loads, but it's the air pressure that ultimately will tear an aircraft apart if it exceeds certain speeds. Here are some examples of aerodynamic flutter, which is just one of the problems we may run into at excessive speed. The VLE, or landing gear extension speed, of the BF-109 is 350. Let's see what happens when we extend that gear at 500. There's also a term VLO, which is the landing gear operating speed, which means it's the highest speed that you can fly around at without the gear falling off. Whoops, there it goes. The VFE, which is the maximum flap extension speed for the 109, is 250. Here we're diving down at 500 and everything seems to be holding together. So why don't we see if it'll hold together at 600? Now this is a fine piece of German engineering. So what happened to the Heinkel? We extended the landing gear and started diving. And no flap. Well, there goes the first piece of landing gear. Elevator, aileron, rudder. Hmm. This pilot has a serious decision to make. Without elevators, there's no way to control this aircraft, and it's going to go into an uncontrollable dive. Aus! 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 There are several factors that affect our ability to climb in the aircraft. Next we have uh, VY, which is the best rate of climb speed. It's the fastest way up. And we have VX, which is the best angle of climb speed. The only number I have for the 109 is the best rate of climb at 280. I would guess that your best angle of climb would be at 200 with about 20 degrees of flap. And VSO is the minimum controllable airspeed in the landing configuration. 
That's with gear and flaps down. You can see that this aircraft is barely controllable at the speed. And VREF is the best approach speed, which is usually 1.3 times VSO. So on the 109, that's probably about 180. And the last speed we're going to look at today is VBG, which is the best glide speed. Although I don't know the exact number, it's usually about halfway between VX and VY. So somewhere between 200 and 280 would be about 240. If you were trying to conserve fuel or trying to get home with the damaged engine, then choosing 240 would make perfect sense. In other words, you're staying in the air for as long as possible and covering as much distance as possible at the same time. So a quick recap. Take off at 200. Climb at 280. Descend at 240. Approach at 200. And never fly below 160. And once again, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. Or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment.